Welcome back everyone to Piney Plays the Dragonborn and today we are going to continue investigating our Abbey here and find out is there anything interesting here and can we find our way to the Shrine of the White Sun? First, let's see if there's anything behind this door. Hmm, any more notes? Unnerving screams echo from the floor below. Well, that doesn't sound good. In fact, it sounds like outright bad. Hmm. Now, why my dog keeps on getting stuck? Tall, silent forms shuffle down the corridor. While strange cries come from behind closed doors. Roving flesh golem. Wonderful. Well, I did say this place was something out of Frankenstein's lab, right? And flesh golems. Fit that bill. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that is... Actually, I think that might be our target location. A note. Cloven, do try to be more prompt with the feedings. These poor wretches are your own relations, after all. And I'm sure you don't want to see your fellow Bellevue suffer. He's sick. <laughs> Yeah, uh, strange creatures burst from behind the doors, shrieking madly. Food, food, so hungry. Hungry. All right. That. Oh, I'm sorry, but feeding on me is not the right answer to that. I presume this is just a place holding these. Oh, hello. Oh, wow. That was what <laughs> That was one of my best frost breaths ever. How about that? Wee. Boy. This guy's doing weirder experiments in salmon. Uh, yeah. See, even the statues are scared. Now, what else have we got here? See, this one's already been... Oh, oh. Alright. They weren't quite active yet. Note to self. Make sh That's the problem is you... Sometimes you just can't do a good preemptive strike. There you go. And on the other side. Mongrel folk. Mongrel what? I don't know. As I said, weird abomination experiments. Let's try this. At least that's what it looks like to me so far. That's right. I, I am on the... I do have a couple... That dog just likes getting stuck! Anything here? A hatch in one corner of the room leads down into the cellar. Ooh, okay, so maybe that's the cellar that I need to head into? Well, that worked reasonably well. Now, let's see what we've got here. Part 4. My servants here are the Bellevue family. While they are fiercely loyal, they are not strong. I cured their physical ailments, and yet they asked me for more. Give us the eye of a cat, master, they begged. The strength of a mule. 
the guile of a snake. And because I could, I did. And while I did my best, now I wonder whether I have done them a favor at all. Right! Okay, that's the doorway that's sealed off, which means now we head into the root cellar. I'm sure we're going to have some fun stuff down here. All right, we have a signal crystal over there. Before I open that up, I better make sure there is nothing... weird in any of these meaning let's see if we can get a little XP credit for that there's one more journal somewhere a and there are also shadows well I I maybe if I just all right let, let that's Sometimes I try to. Sometimes I don't want them getting into trouble, so I turn off aggressiveness. Sometimes I want the cleric to save power. But I don't think this is the time for that. There you go. And. Where are we? Hmm. More shadows, that's where we're at. I hear shadows. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Hey, those things are creepy, but, I, well, seeing how they creep on the floor, I guess creepy is the right word. Speaking of creeping on floors, there's a symbol for a snake. And... Ooh, I would presume the other bit is this way. Oh, there's the final piece of the puzzle. First, let's get this thing. I have met with the Count several times. Srod is convinced that one day he will escape Barovia and conquer the kingdoms that lie beyond. The voices in the darkness claim otherwise. They whisper that they will never release Strahd, that his curse is to be trapped here for eternity. Yet I believe I can see what needs to be done. I know what will break the curse of that Strahd brought upon himself. I know what will repair his shattered destiny. I will find Strahd a bride, and if I can't find one, I will make one. Yep, Frankenstein! <laughs> well then, let's see, Crest of the Wolf. I'll make one, if I can. All right, now, where were we? We need... See, I've got both parts here. Let's go through here before we... Oh, that's locked. Oh, is that regular locked, or is that a different type of... Or is that the... Looks like regular locked. Hmm. Locked! <laughs> that way, if you have one bell ringing, it, it won't do. You'll need two of them. Well, this is underwhelming. Yeah. Ah, yes. These crests. This is the... I thought I saw a description somewhere, but I guess not. Now that's done. Oh, 
Hold on. Oh, a trap. It's a trap! I'm gonna fight. I guess because it's a timed trap, it's. No, is that. Oh! Walking corpse. Walking corpse is all over the place. Oh my. Minotaur skeleton. Hmm. That's a nice place to rest. But first I want to go to the other side of... Uh, okay, that's where we came from. This is our... Alright, let's... Ask these two to stay still. Of course, with that dog, the trouble it won't be getting him to stay still, it's getting him to move. Oh! How about that? I managed... Oh, I guess I do have to do something. Oh, that eventually stops that. Alright. Now, proceed. Really don't need a rest right now. Hmm... What's on the other side? Death and destruction. Isn't it always? Ah! Sunshine! Yay! The Shrine of the White Sun, man. This looks reasonably well enough named. A decrepit shrine overlooks Pool. You're just not in the mood to move around, are you? I think there's a bug in those things. I need to debug my dog a little bit. You open the gate and let Irina into the shrine. There you are. This seems so familiar, but... I'm sure I've never been here before. Did you bring the sun sword? Yep. I feel that it somehow holds the key. All right. Yeah, here it is. This place was special to me, to us. This is where we would meet. Give me Sergei's sword. I know what happens now. All right. See if you can make it shine. Irina takes the sun sword and tenderly places it on the shrine. This was his sword. <laughs> this is where we would meet early in the morning during midsummer. Yet the sun sword remains inert. There is no sound but the water lapping at the edge of the pool. Suddenly, an image appears in the sparkling waters of the pool. A handsome youth with a kind and noble visage. The sadness in his eyes turns to sudden joy. Tatiana, it has been so long. Come, my love, let us be together at last. Irina gasps. Sergei, my beloved. Oh, we were to be married so long ago. Has this blessed pool called your spirit to me? As she reaches for Sergei, she is pulled down beneath the rippling water and into her lover's embrace. You have never seen a happier couple as they begin to fade from view. For a moment, all is quiet. Then a peal of thunder shakes the land, and a deep, dark voice from beyond the mountains cries out, She is mine! A dark figure appears near the shrine. She's escaped! Escape to where I cannot follow! Cries Strahd. You killed her! You make you suffer for that! Don't make the mistake of thinking you might win! The darkness below 
belongs to me. And he covers every corner of this land. Wonderful. Yeah, I always have trouble when I'm finding this guy, don't I? Oops. I hope I'm getting help. Okay, yeah, yes, they, they are helping me in the fight at least. If he gives me half a second, maybe I could plot down a... <laughs> oh, that's right. Oh, I forgot to call my bird! Ah... Uh, Silly pine leaf. I always forget I have that thing. Oh. There, how, how's that? How do you like that, Strahd? He's, oh, he's immune! Oh, now I find out! Hey, 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 why don't, why don't you just do something to him? Hey, hey you guys, you're allowed to attack him. <laughs> it, it, it would really help if I get a little help here. Thank you. Now, we can resume this regularly scheduled... Oh, Hellhounds. Well, I know Hellhounds won't be immune to cold. Hopefully I got the Hellhound in that. <laughs> now, you'd think that these hirelings are even more useless than normal right now. Really? Ouch. Maybe? <laughs> When you're finding this super vampire here. Ah, la, 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 la. <laughs> hey, and getting closer to that. Maybe, maybe I can actually win this battle? All right. You're going down, Strahd. You're going down. <laughs> Anyone have a stake to go put it through his heart or something? Oh, that's right. Aren't you supposed to do something strange like go to the water or the shrine or something like that? Strahd winces as he enters the pool. Part of his place's holy power must still remain. This <sighs> is a waste. You are trapped here, just as I am. <laughs> Better to leave you alive. I can watch your dreams die slowly. With that, Strahd vanishes with the wind. For a moment, you despair at being left behind in this dreary, defeated land. Then, without warning, the sun sword blazes forth with a warm, bright light. You pick up the sun sword. The instant you touch the hilt of the dazzling weapon, you realize that this is the weapon that could slay Strahd. That this is the key to ending his dominion. 
something starts to grow within you. Something you had almost forgotten. Hope. Hope. Ooh. Plate shard belt. Hmm. Charming. Actually, let's see. I have a look at that later. Now, what about that abbot? Now that we checked upstairs and took care of all that, what is downstairs? Obviously not those cellars that we were looking for. Wine cellar. That's it. Oh well. Then I think it is time for us to head to Abbot Frankenstein and speak with him. Ah, uh, here he is uh, with you return. Boone's the abbot. Please tell me what you think and be frank. My only desire is to improve the abbey and this land. I'm sure it is. You've had a chance to look around, I trust. Oh, oh yeah, I've looked around a bit, chased off Strahd, all sorts of fun stuff. Yes, please feel free to ask me any questions you may have. I look forward to hearing what you think. Mm, well, that woman next to you, who is she? Ah, oh, yes, let me introduce Vasilka. Oh, congratulate her. For she's a bride to be. Yes, I made her as a gift for Strahd, you see. Why, try to bring down our foe with force when there is a better method. If we could free Strahd from his curse, then this land could be saved. And what better way to break a curse than to give him what he has lost? A bride! When I couldn't find a suitable young lady for the role, I decided to make one. Otto dug up the parts for me, and I stitched her together. Now all that remains is to teach her to be a lady. I've already had some success in teaching her to dance. How to dance. I was just trying to see if she had two left feet. <laughs> I mean, in the literal sense of You never know when you stitch someone together if you give them a pair of feet or two different left ones, right? All right. Well, then from what I've seen so far, I've come to one conclusion. Just in case this leads to combat. You're insane. Clearly, you don't understand. I've done nothing but try to bring the light to this benighted place. By turning your servants into mongrel men, by patching together creatures out of dead bodies... Yeah, you're crazy. You dare to condemn me? Says the abbot. Do you have any idea how hard I struggled? How long I've tried to help? Do you have any idea who I the abbot twists into a new shape. A form that was once magnificent. Man? Was it mad to fight against the darkness? I was sent to redeem this forsaken place. My struggle has been longer and harder than you can imagine. I... And I will strike down anyone who tries to stop me. The abbot falls to his knees. Darkness. Nothing but he cries as his mortal form vanishes from this world. Yep. <sighs> and we finally have Sunrise. I'm afraid I did disturb the abbot. <laughs> Finish your business with the abbot, have you? I won't deny that his methods are a bit <clears throat> unusual, but in Barovia, my friend, you cling to what you have. I suppose I should give you something for getting that wine delivered. Here, you can have this. Oh, and I almost forgot. 
Someone called Rudolf von Richten left a message for you. He says to meet him at the Blood and Vine Tavern in the village of Barovia if you want to, and I quote, stop Strand forever. Uh, he sounds quite mad to me. <clears throat> yeah, I'm sure this entire place is mad. What do we have here? Yeah. Well, we have an acid absorbing plus three enchant. Oh, this is deflecting empty blue augment slot. See, spell resistance plus four enchantment bonus. Poison resist plus twenty three. Hmm. Oh, but the current one has undead guard. But I won't be needing that as much now that I'm. This is the last adventure in Barovia, so I'll look this over. Anyway, it'll be another level before I can use it. Ah, now, let's get out of here. That was quite an adventure. All of us owe you a debt of gratitude, Pine Frost. Thanks to you, we now have the artifacts we need to be able to destroy Strahd. For the first time, we know what hope feels like. Thank you. And I have completed all of them. Well, at normal, but you can also get additional rewards if you also do them at hard and elite. Whee! And next reward tier is at 21 points. Yeah. Okay, what do you do if you claim the current reward here. 16,000 experience points, a Tome of Skill, 40 Vistani Talismans, 5,000 Guild Renown, or... Now, why would take someone take 50 Guild Renown if one could get 5,000 Guild Renown? I have absolutely no idea. Well, I'll just grab the XP. If I were ready to hit level... Th if I was just at the brink of level 13, obviously I would have chosen differently on that. But uh, that's it for our little trip here in Barovia. I will probably have another trip with this character when we release Sharn, whenever that is. I haven't quite decided what I'll be doing then yet. First, I need to know... What level is Sharn going to be? And is this character going to be suitable? We'll all have to find that out. But I figure that this is one of the candidate characters I have for doing Sharn. And on top of this, when they have the announcement on all this stuff, perhaps I'll also have a little time to play with the Tiefling. So will I be next on the Dragonborn with the Tiefling? Or another character because of the levels of Sharn? We will find that out when I return to the next time where Piney plays Dungeons and Dragons online.